Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing uh, Mountain Blade Warband. And uh, a little preface here, you may notice I'm not playing a Song of Ice and Fire, or uh, a World of Ice and Fire, I should say. And that's because during the recording of my last playthrough of that game, I, I, I made three episodes already. You've probably seen them, maybe you haven't, I don't know. Uh, there was an update for the mod and it, you know, made it unplayable. So I was like, oh man, I don't want to have to go through all that starting stuff again, especially considering how often that mod crashes. So I figured I'd come over to the more stable one, Clash of Kings, and I'll uh, start a new playthrough. To save, uh, you know, a little bit of time, I'll just skip through all the character creation. I'll do it the same as I did in the last playthrough, and I'll just import my character over from that one. Uh, so yeah, let's just get down to that and see what sort of shenanigans we can get into. You go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown when you hear that King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar. The fishmonger that you're speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark, the Hand of the King, tried to usurp the throne, but the valiant King Joffrey's advisors managed to foil his plot, and peace has surely been restored. However, a few days later, a weary traveler arrives with more news. Following the imprisonment of Lord Stark, the Northern Lords marched south to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. They ambushed the army of the Kingslayer, routed his forces, and captured Sir Ray uh, Jaime. After which, they broke the Siege of Riverrun. All of a sudden, the odds seem to be turning against Joffrey, and his name is no longer shouted in the streets. Making a quick decision, you decide to strike out, hurriedly selling off your meager possessions to a fat innkeeper, and packing only the most essential. You finally feel like you control your own destiny, and that whatever course you take, great deeds await you. So, uh, I should, of course, preface this that, if you haven't played these mods before, uh, whereas the World of Ice and Fire mod gave you the option to play as either the books or the, uh, or the TV show, this one is just automatically off the books. So, it won't be exactly like the TV show, but a lot of the stuff is similar. So, I'll be a male. Uh, father was... I can't, can't remember what I did last time, but I feel like a landless knight would be closest. I grew up as... Page would be good. Uh, we'll go with the noble in training. Lady became... Let's go with sellsword. Reason, less for money and power, baby. I believe that's what I did last time. I don't know what either of these means, so we're going to skip past them. I know I feel stupid for saying that, but I, I just, I, I don't know. Alrighty. So, like I said, I'll skip over all the character creation and everything, so we'll pick it up after that. Alright, it says, you join a merchant and his family traveling towards Storm's End. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are all across the dark soil of the rolling hills. And on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains, herds of cattle, aurochs, and sheep are grazing on the summer grass. Occasionally, too, you catch sight of one of the great war horses that are the pride of the nobility. The land here is rich, but also troubled, as the occasional burnt-out farm bears witness, a testament to the chaos the Tyrell host caused when it marched through 16 years earlier. You keep a wide berth of the forests, where desperate men have taken refuge. While passing by the burned ruins of Summerhall, the merchant declares that he's changed his mind, wanting to take his wares to Weeping Tower, instead having heard of Lyseni galleys docking at a nearby harbor. Following a long trek through the rainwood, you finally see the Weeping Town in the distance. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn, where you quickly stash your belongings and go in search of a decent tavern where you can have a well-deserved dinner. According to an old blind man sitting in the corner between two buildings and drinking a mug of stale ale, a kraken has been seen off the coast of Dorne, and a five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process. Surely an omen to be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you continue towards the tavern. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Alright, I'm not seeing a bad guy unless it's this guy over here. This guy it? Ooh, that was close. I don't want to let him hit me because he'll probably just hit me. Well, there we go. Is that another guy? Oh, cool, I have a sword. Oh, that's Osbert Clerk. Okay. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive at any rate. I'm not sure that we can say the same for the other fellow. That's one less thief to trouble our streets at night. Although the father knows, he won't be the last. Anyway, let's talk more inside. There's a chill in the air I'd rather be without. The merchant takes you to his house. Once inside, he stands by the door for a while, looking at the dawn, and then suddenly comes near you to speak. Nice house he's got here. Now, let me explain my proposition. You seem a little disoriented. I do not know who you are or where you're from, and to tell you the truth, I do not care. I'm just a simple merchant, and I've learned 
and if I've learned anything, it's that the merchants are the first to suffer in hard times. So I'm planning to travel to another country, peaceful and rainless, I hope. I have heard that the free city's gold flows from watery fountains, so maybe I'll go try my fortune in Pentos or Volantis. Anyways, I advise you before I leave to do the same and seek your own fortune in other lands. War is sure to engulf the Seven Kingdoms now that the Hand has been executed, and the people will be nothing more than war fodder. Poverty feeds on the weak, and the strong men abuse the sword and the lance to impose their power and control over the humble ones. In order to trade, we must pay heavy taxes in each city, sort out bandits and pirates, and pray that a local lord, ignorant and lazy, do not decide to get half of our merchandise to fund his next feast or buy a new horse for his son. But I am getting ahead of myself. Take my advice and go across the narrow sea, until the new king has been crowned and anointed by the High Septon. Law and unity will remain a vulture's feasting table, so I say, seek your destiny elsewhere. Uh, hmm. Well, last time, I stayed there. I'm kind of curious. I've never actually done the Go to Essos one. I like the story. Like I said, I've, I've done this, played this mod a couple times through, not all the way to the end, because I don't know if there is, like, a full-blown end. But I've played it quite a bit anyway. But I always stay in Westeros, so I think this time I'm going to go to Essos. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted to say. I'm leaving potential soon. Are you sure you would not like to reconsider joining me? Damn, did I click the wrong one? Well, I feel sheepish. Well, I guess we're staying in Westeros. What a bummer. Okay, so... I'm pretty lonesome here. <laughs> well, let's see what we can get uh, get to here in town. You are now viewing the overland map. Left click on... Okay, yeah, I know how to move around. All right, first places first. I guess we'll go to the castle. Some nice armor. Castle guard, courtier, septon. See if he has anything. I'm Sir Nico, at your service. I am Sir Adam Whitehead, a vassal of the Stormlands and the Lord of Weeping Town. Well, I have not heard of you, but you have a look of a man who might have uh, make something of yourself someday. Uh, do you have any tests for me? I have something you could help me with. An issue with the lawless villain named as Peter the Tall. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run from his judgment ever since. I can't let him get away with avoiding justice, so I've put a bounty of 300 coins on his head. Friends of the murdered man reckon that the assassin may have taken refuge with his kinsman at Estermont. You might be able to hunt him down and give him what he deserves and claim the bounty for yourself. Sounds like a deal. I could use some money. Okay, Estermont. Please be close. There it is. Look at that. That's not that far away. Ooh. You have been awarded the right to carry a banner. Your banner will... Okay, so let's find a banner that's good. Ooh. I like this one here. It's got a deer head. I like that. Alrighty, I have to go to the village center. Let's find ourselves a murderer. Not liking my crappy ass looking weapons. I guess they're better than nothing. Hopefully I'll be able to find something uh, nicer soon. I think that's him up there. Yeah, the thing about Clash of Kings over uh, uh, World of Ice and Fire is just it's been around longer, so it's definitely a more stable mod. Uh, there may be a little less lore from it, especially if you start if you're only into the... Oh, God, this guy looks like he's got armor on. Oh, never mind. It's just a Gamson. Uh, what do you want? I'm looking for a murderer by the name of Peter the Tall. You fit his description. I don't understand, sir. I never killed anyone. I think you've got the wrong man. Then drop your sword. If you're innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors, and if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're going to have to fight for your silver today. Uh, I'm going to be kind of ruthless in this playthrough. No problem, I just, I really just need your head anyway. They didn't even fight. That was pretty cool. Your relation with Estermont has deteriorated. Eh. Bummer. So, back to the Weeping Town. Let's 
talk to Sir Adam Zit. Well, Sir Nigo? Uh, about that task you gave me. I found Peter the Tall hiding at Estermont and gave him his punishment. And we'll all be better off without him. Thank you, Sir Nico, for removing this long, festering thorn from my side. Tis good to know you can be trusted to handle things with an appropriate level of tactfulness. A bounty I promised, and a bounty you shall have. 300 coins and not a copper less. Let me take this money, sir. Thank you. Of course, Sir Nico. Here you are. Once again, you have my thanks for ridding me of that careless oaf. Uh, okay, let's see if he has anything else. The wretched truth is that I owe a considerable sum of money to one of the merchants here in the Weeping Town. I have no intention of paying it back, of course, but that loudmouth fool is making a terrible fuss about it. He even had the audacity to come and threaten me, me, with a letter of complaint to the trade guilds and the bankers. Why, he'd ruin my good reputation, so I need a man I can trust. Someone who will guarantee the man's silence, for good. Ooh, beauty. Worry not, he shan't breathe a word. Very good. I trust in your skill and discretion, Sir Nico. Do not disappoint me. Go now and wait for my word. I'll send you a message telling when and where you can catch the merchant. Dispose of him for me, and I shall reward you generously. You spot your victim and follow him, observing as he turns a corner into a dark alley. This will surely be your best opportunity to attack him. Huh. Doesn't appear to be that dark of an alley, but at least, uh, seems pretty straightforward. Wonder how well I'll get paid for that. Alright, let's go. Negative four? Deteriorating my reputation. Well, Sir Nico, I heard you got rid of that poxy merchant. How much did I get? 600 coins? Not bad. That was causing me so much grief. I can see you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, eh? I like that in a man. Here's your reward. Remember, Sir Nico, stick with me and we'll go a long way together. Nifty. So I've already made almost a thousand coins. Let's talk to Sept and see if he's got any jobs. He's busy. Okay. Servant. Maybe he'll have more? Do you have any more tasks for me? Damn. Alright, well, we'll check the tavern. Well, it doesn't appear to be anything in here, so I guess we're going to have to go out and about and try to seek our fortune. Well, Alright, I've been able to get slightly better uh, gear. Kind of botched that whole uh, mission with the guy, the Osbert clerk guy. Because normally he gives you a couple missions to start off the game, but I guess since I didn't get that... 16 looters. I think I could take 16 looters. I was able to get a horse. Surrender or die. Alright. Let's see if I can't do this. Hopefully they're not archers, because if they are, they'll rock me, but... In my inventory, I had a male hood and a leather gamson, which had like 10 points more damage resistance than the fur jacket thing I was wearing, so... And I was able to sell my mace and everything and get myself a rudimentary bow, a slightly better shield, and a war mace. There he is. Oh, and a horse. Not a great horse, but an okay horse. Ah, oh, great, they're archers. Oh boy, that ain't gonna go good. Turn around. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh boy, they're gonna kill my horse. Well, let's see if I can't bow them all to death. I'm lucky that this character I imported in has decent combat. Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't have very good armor though, so I can't take too many hits. As far as this mod pack goes, the advice I always give to people starting out on it is until you can find a Valerian steel sword or afford to get one, you know, until you can get a Valerian weapon, uh, go with a mace. Because the swords just aren't as good. These maces are super OP in this game. Is that everyone? Everyone dead? There we go. Okay, 16 wounded. Sweet. Oh, that's good. That'll give me some money. Ooh, this'll give me some money, too. 
Okay, let's go see how much money I can get. All right, so that's almost 2,000 coins for the weapons. Let's see how much we can get for all the armor. There we go. It's worth 24.29. He's only got 15.72, but I'm going to give it to him all anyway. That way I can build up hopefully a slightly better well, wait, actually, let's see how much any of this costs. I could get better boots. Or better gauntlets. I get the boots. Because that way, I'll still be getting money. And I'll be upgrading my armor. So I'm getting 12, 19. Okay. Excellent. We'll call that a success. Now, since I've sided with the Stormlands twice already before when playing this, I think I'm going to go try to make my fortune in the Reach. Hopefully I can get there without getting accosted by, uh, you know, a giant army that wants to kill me. And there they are. I guess I'll try to fight them again. Take the field. Oh, they only got 12? That's less than I killed last time. And this time, uh, it's a little bit more forgiving for horseback. It's not a thick wooded region. So I'll... I mean, there's trees and stuff, but not so bad. Hey, cool, I knocked one unconscious by running into my horse. They must not... Oh, crap. Don't... Oh my god, he shot my horse in the head. But, yeah. Oh boy, my horse is gonna die again. There we go. Seems to go a little bit slower when he gets shot in the head, huh? Oh, well, my horse died. Horse crippled? That's not good. Is that all of them? Alrighty. Oh, yeah, that's right, I got all those prisoners. Sweet. Hopefully I don't have to fight too many more battles like that, because eventually my luck might run out, run out. Ooh, glad I'm faster than them. God, I should be able to sell my loot here and then go to the Lord's Hall here and see if there's any uh, tasks I can do here. 462 coins, that ain't very much, but... Since I'm gonna be, you know, trying to... Ooh, I like that helmet. How much does it cost? I'm totally buying that bad boy. There are better gauntlets. Think I could get that much for my stuff I've got? Or should I buy a brigandine? I should probably get a better. Gauntlets are probably fine. I should probably get a better. Ooh, that's way too much. Oh, never mind. I thought that said 62,000. It almost says. Okay. Still, it's too much. So. Battered brigandine, battered, battered. This one's just a brigandine. 43, 54, 56. I can afford that one. I really can. So I should get it. Then I'll just try to see how much I can mitigate my losses by selling all the rest of the clothing and armor I have left here. So I must pay 1417. Not bad. Actually, let's check my horse. Lame Destrator. Ooh, that's way too expensive. I guess I'll stick with my Lame Destrator. I don't want to blow the rest of my money. Right, we will go to the tavern and see if there's any missions available in there. Oh, there's a bard so I could learn a poem. I'm gonna do that. What is it that you do? There we go. Ooh, the Reigns of Castamere. That'll be a good one. Repeat after me. And who are you? The proud lord said. 
that I must bow so low. Only a cat of a different coat, that's all the truth I know. In a coat of gold or coat of red, a lion still has claws. And mine are sharp, and sharp, my lord, as long and sharp as yours. That's good, see? I actually knew that one. <laughs> I don't know if I sang it right, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I did. All right, let's see if he uh, knows any more. I can teach you a part of the song of Florian and Jonquil. It is a heroic tale full of blood and battle. Florian the Fool sees the highborn maiden Jonquil bathing in the pool near Maiden Pool. He is taken with her, but sadly she has promised to marry the king of the rivers and hills, a vain and cruel man. Knowing that he will never be allowed to even kiss her, Florian challenges the arrogant, arrogant king to a battle of arms and wits for the hand of the fair Jonquil. See, I know this story because I'm reading A Clash of Kings right now, and it's just come up between Sansa and what's his name, the fool guy. To teach it to you, blah blah blah. Okay, see, this one I don't know, so I can't sing it. Sorry. Ooh, Loris Tyrell's party. We'll go see if we can ingratiate ourselves upon the Night of the Flowers. Do I know you? Uh, my name is Sir Nico, sir, at your service. I am Sir Loris Tyrell, son of Lord Mace Tyrell and Lord of Holy Hall. I see that you carry a nobleman's banner, but I do not recognize the device. No matter, a brave man's home is all the world, or so they say. What is it? Alright, do you have any tasks for me? No, Sir Nico, I do not need your help at this time. Hmm. Well, I could do lots of things. I've never done this. I could join his retinue. I've got room in my ranks for a man of your disposition, Sir Nico. I can take you on as a Reachman Levy with a weekly pay of 90 coins. And food, of course. Plenty of room for promotion, and you'll be equipped as benefits your rank. You'll have your take of what you can scavenge from ba battle. What do you say? Sure, I'll give it a try. Hopefully I won't lose the gear I just bought. So now I guess I just ride around with him. You meet a lonely septum on the road. As you pass him, you stumble and accidentally push him off the tracks. You decide to... Ooh, uh, let's apologize. Hopefully we get into a fight. I've never done this before, so this is kind of exciting. Hopefully I'll be able to leave when I want to, too. I don't want to be locked into this for the rest of the game. There we go. What do you need to do, soldier? Follow the commander into battle, duh. Charge the enemy, hell yeah. What? I don't even have my horse? That doesn't seem fair. Oh, great. Yeah, I do really get some crappy stuff. I was just thinking maybe I kill one of the guys and take their horse. I guess I'm going to have to distinguish myself in battle so I can get uh, better equipment and maybe even a horse. I'm not even going to get there on time. They're all going to be dead by the time I get there. No, let me kill him. I want his horse. Ah, great. Thing's over already. Uh, okay. That's worth taking. Also, no. Okay, so I'll just take those. Oh, good. So I still do have my stuff. Oh, I actually got a better helmet from joining him. That's cool. What do you need to do, soldier? Return to duty, I guess. Alright, follow your commander into battle. Okay. More looters, eh?
proving pretty difficult to get myself a horse. But at least this time there's more looters, so maybe I'll actually be able to get to some of them. Cavalry would stop charging. Let me catch up to it. You know, this may sound uh, inconsiderate, but... Come on, one more shot, he should be dead. And of course he can't hit it. Alright, time to just spear these guys. Got one. Got two. Got three. Oh boy, glad I didn't get it by that guy. At least that time I was able to kill someone. Maybe I'll get a promotion. Ooh, that's some better loot. Oop, nope, don't want that. That's only 90. Alrighty. I guess we'll return to duty again. Alrighty, finally another battle. That took forever. Let's follow the commander in. Charge the enemy. Well, I'm still not on the horse, but at least now I've got some decent armor and a better weapon. So, there's that. Hopefully my next promotion will be one that gives me a horse. Cool ass spear thing I got, though. Super long. You think there'd be at least some strategy in trying to, you know... I guess I can't complain too much. The best strategy against inferior numbers, especially weak ones like this that aren't fortified, would probably be to bum rush them with heavy cavalry, so... Still. For those of us lowly spearmen over here, it would be good if we got some of the action. Oh, I just hope they're not all dead by the time I get there. Come on. Oh, we're fighting. Oh, we're fighting Westerlings? Oh, come on. We're even fighting real bad guys, not just looters? Sweet. I can get up in front of them here. As long as I don't get myself killed, I should be able to get myself some renown. any kills, but in the end there, I think I got quite a few. Plus my helmet's even cooler. Alrighty, how many did I get? Sir Nico. Oh, I got 11. Ooh, that's worth something. This ain't a bad way to make some money in this game. Alright, I guess I'll return to duty. Alright, guess we're going into battle again. They only have seven? I'm never gonna make it there at this time. Ah! I have two shields. That seems excessive. with some blood.
Ah, I guess they're all dead already, let me guess. Yeah, of course they are. Alright, return to duty. Alright, that, that one at least didn't take long. Alright, you have 412 foods. Okay, good, so I should be able to actually make it. Make it to the battle before all the people are dead. Be much easier with a horse, I'm just saying. I don't know why all my guys are streaming blue behind him, that's kind of weird. During these sections, I keep forgetting to say something because I'm like, God, I think in my head, I'm like, God, that's got to be boring just watching me trot on along. But I'm just thinking to myself, God, I want to get there as quick as I can. You know, I know not talking won't make it go any faster, but deeper chats. How's a man supposed to make his way in the army and build a name for himself if he uh, doesn't even get to the fighting on time? People are just thinking he ain't like older I think I actually took one. It's like reach when I'm fighting. That's kind of weird, huh? Oh, they're... That's right. They're not Westerlands. They're like broken men. That makes sense. Oh, yeah. Pike is a pretty good weapon, huh? You just can't be close. Okay, I need my name. I'm getting annoying. So hard to tell the difference. Pretty well distinguished from this one, huh? See how many I took out. That'll be exciting, huh? All right, Sir Lars Terrell got four killed. I got ten killed and eighteen wounded. You are helping Sir Lars's Terrell party against broken men. You have four hundred ten troops. Oh, get to charge him again. I know this time I won't make it there before they kill everyone. Since I know for sure I ain't gonna make it there on time, we're just gonna skip this battle. See you after it's over.
All right, so that was done. As I said, I didn't even get there by the time everyone was dead. Ooh, but that's worth quite a bit. Hey, actually, can I pop this horse back on me? Think anyone's gonna care? Let's see if I have it in the next battle. Ah, uh, return to duty. Sweet. So I can, uh... Alright, in recognition of your excellent service. Oh man, I wish I had these troop trees memorized. I don't think I want to go for Dismounted Reachman Squire, because I think that's the infantry tree. I think this way will lead me to mount it, because I want to be a knight. So, pikeman it is. My god, that took forever. I feel like it was like three weeks of in-game time. This is going to be the last battle we do for this video, so... Let's follow the commander in. Uh, you are helping Sir Manfred Dundarian's party against broken men. You have 393 troops fit for battle against their 73. Beauty. Okay, so this time I have two spears and no mace. That's pretty cool. Um, which way are we supposed to go, guys? You're supposed to find me. I'm charging. You guys can wait back. I want to get some kills. I said I unfortunately don't appear to have a mace or anything, so hopefully this combat will go well. I know you're here, Puppet. Don't want to retreat the battle. Where the hell are the bad guys? Aha, there they are. Unfortunately, I was going the wrong direction, so now these guys are going to start charging and beat me to them. Well, they're not charging yet, but they're advancing. I want to get me at least uh, 20 kills. I feel like that's a useful amount for one person to be killing. Ooh, they kind of look well armed. <coughs> there we Stormlands, I don't know what the Stormlands are. I could use a shorter weapon. Than this. I'm not a big fan of the non hilarian skill. Of course, this game is a hell of a lot better than the best spear. Why would you give a bunch of. I guess you find a bunch of cards if I get a whole line of spear. Nah. Apparently this little cluster of, uh, troops there is the way that's gonna go. No more coming! Oh, 
two more for me. I don't know if I've got 20 yet, but... Oh, did we find the rest of them? I'm gonna get all crowded by horses now. Careful, I don't want to die, that'd be embarrassing. Kill someone, then sweep back out. They would be much more effective. Clearly, whoever's commanding this battle is not very good at it. It's over. Let's see what happens. Alright, so I had 37. 37 killed. That ain't bad. Much better than Laura Strahl's 4. And not bad considering the total amount was 73. Ooh. I'm getting decent loot if I'm being honest. This is not a bad way to go in this game. Alright, but like I said... That is going to do it for us here. So, yeah, see you next time. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.